born at St. Joseph's. I was one of the first, uh, they just opened a hospital and I was one of the uh, fairly um, original patients, shall we say. Yeah, I was born here. <clears throat> and um, then I, uh, I've only been away about maybe 10 years altogether in my lifetime. You know how old I am, do you? I won't tell you if you don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> we were very poor and we just lived down the road from here. <clears throat> One memory I have, um, for a while there, um, my mother and I only had one pair of shoes between us, and, and while I was at school in the shoes, Mama had some sawed-off gumboots that uh, that she piloted around home here while I was at school. And uh, this one day I plodded up Lake Trail down the end here, <clears throat> and um, of course wearing the, the shoes, and I could see Mama coming in the distance in the sawed-off gumboots. And at the corner of uh, Lake Trail and uh, Powerhouse Road, we, we, we exchanged footwear. <laughs> <laughs> Mama went to town in the sho these shoes, and uh, I plodded a home in the sawed-off gumboots. It gives you an idea that we weren't exactly rich, but uh, the property just down the way here, my father got it after he got back from the First World War, so we always had a, a home with him. <clears throat> it wasn't exactly a palace, I can tell you. <clears throat> You'd always um, um, tell how um, much season of the year it was by how um, empty the outhouse was. <laughs> it's, um, had, let's say I had a very modest start in life, but it uh, didn't, didn't uh, affect me too badly. And, Well, that's the Masters Greenway and Wildlife Corridor just down the road here. <clears throat> well, it's um, it was a gift from, um, well, really from my family to the uh, district, and uh, it's a nice. Have you been on it through the Greenway? Um, I haven't. You haven't. You have we? Yeah. No. I don't think so. <laughs> keep, keep in mind, anyway, in the um, in the spring when the um, trilliums are out, you know that's uh, there's a nice trail back here at the river. And then you can go in from this end, and you can get in from the bottom end. And uh, I would guarantee you won't have seen that many trilliums in your life. <laughs> so, oh, well, it's just as much there as it ever was, and uh, no more taxes. So it was uh, it was a um, win-win, shall we say. And uh, people are respecting it, too. I, I go through every, every few days, and I seldom get a, even a gum wrapper. So I'd say people are respecting it, and that's really what counts. If it, if I had to go and clean up wheel, wheelbarrows of garbage, I'd be trying to get it back. I've um, made a point of not meddling any more than I have to, and uh, the, uh, you can see the front out here. It's very messy now because the leaves are off the trees, but um, that used to be solid lawn right from the house here to the road. And then I finally, oh, about 30 years ago now, I wised up, I guess, and I put it back to, uh, uh, I brought in a few hundred sword ferns, and I call it my uh, fern garden there now, and uh, the, the main advantage is I don't have to mow it anymore, and I don't have to go in there from one year to the next, and, and I have a, my deer feeding station is out in the front here, my deer come every night to be fed, and uh, they stand there and wait, they know, they, they know that they they'll get their... Uh, refreshments if I if they if they stand there and wait and I, I get a sack of barley and oats every week for them and uh, they'll stand there and look in the window to <laughs> you're saying you're gonna see the, the questioning look on their faces that they're saying where's the dame with the grub You just get a phone call from somewhere, you know, and Ruth the Chainsaws are in there. And, <laughs> and I'm, um, about, now that takes me about 20 minutes or so to, but they've taken my uh, car away, my truck away from me, so I can't get there fast enough now. <laughs> but, um, uh, um, no, I think it's, um, uh, being a woman is an advantage on those things because uh, when you're naughty, they're, they really don't know what to do with you, but um, as I say, no. I just stand there and say nobody tells me, 
not to look after Canada. Just put your foot down and um, stick to your guns. Yeah, because they, uh, it, um, nothing bothers them more than to see uh, 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 people, particularly women, standing there when they want to uh, uh, wreck something. Mm -hmm. and, uh, as I say, I've never been in jail, but I've been in the police car a number of times. I always put after my name SSD when I signed the, my letters to the uh, various departments I was draping at because of various um, intrusions on the environment. And people would say to me, Ruth, what's SSD? And you know what it is. <laughs> Senior shit disturber, you see. <laughs> they, everybody knew when they'd get, they'd get my uh, snotty letter trying to save something. And I was at SSD, and they'd say, they'd always say, well, what's that stand for? And of course, then I was able to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish I could have done more. No, we, we haven't had too many. Well, every, every, on every occasion, things would have been worse if we'd done nothing. We haven't had many total victories. But uh, there wouldn't be a stick standing anywhere if we hadn't uh, put our, foot, our feet down. And the whole thing sinks or blows. I know I did. I know I tried, because <laughs> it's that, uh, it's uh, we seem to be on a collision course in many respects, and I, I don't even like to be heard voicing that opinion. But you can only uh, exploit the world and multiply the population at a certain speed, and you're going to crash. for Melda Buchanan's uh, <coughs> memorial service and <coughs> I don't think there's a dry eye in the place and I explained before I played that she always made ex me explain that I'm a modest musician because I got so much to be modest about. What would you say is the importance of a sense of humor? Oh, <laughs> it's not, not just, <laughs> it's all important. <coughs> That's right, it's, uh, yeah. I can't imagine not having one. I, <clears throat> excuse me. No. Well, you can imagine, just look around amongst your acquaintances there. Who's the biggest bore you know? <laughs> <laughs>